In this video, I will show you how to apply lazy loading on scroll in your Flutter app. Lazy loading is a technique that loads data incrementally as the user scroll through the list. It ensures that only the visible items are loaded at any given time. The benefits of lazy loading technique is that it reduces memory consumption and improves app performance. This is because the screen has limited size and you don't want to load every single item even when they are not visible on the screen. Before we dive into the code, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. For example, in my code, I have a column widget that display a list of generated strings in a list tile widget. This is how it looks in the simulator. The disadvantage of this approach is that it builds all list tile widgets regardless if it is visible or not in the screen. This approach will heavily burden the app performance. In order to improve the app performance, we have to apply lazy loading technique. So firstly, I will create a function that loads the item. In this function, is where you make HTTP requests or stream any database for the data. So here I will add a future delay function, so it looks like it's retrieving data from HTTP requests. For tutorial purposes, I will just manually generate a list of strings. For the string generated by the function, I will change the string title to new items for better visualization later. Then, the newly generated list of string will be added back into the main item list. Since I have a function that generates the item, I will change the main list from 80 items to 20 items. Now we have done with the load item function. Next is where we track user scroll action. To get user scroll position, firstly we have to create a scroll controller. Then in our init state method, we will add a listener to the scroll controller. This listener mainly checks if user scroll to the end of the list. So if the user's current scroll position pixel is equal to the device max scroll extent, it means user reach to the bottom of the screen, which we will have to execute the load more item function to add new items into the main list. Now we are done with our scroll controller listener. Coming back to our column widget, instead of displaying the main list string value, we have to retrieve the index of each item. This is because with the item index, we can check if it's smaller than items length minus 1. We will then return the list tile. Else, we will return a circular progress indicator. So it looks like the list is loading. Now let's try it out in the simulator. Okay, it seems not working. Let me check the code quickly. Alright, I found the problem which I forget to add the scroll controller into the single child scroll view widget. That's why it's not executing the load more item function. Now let's try again in the simulator.
Alright, so it works now. You can see that when we scroll to the bottom of the screen, it loads for 2 seconds and new item title list tile is added to the screen. Every time we scroll to the end of the screen, it will generate another 20 items and add into the main list. So this is how we display long list item widget periodically according to user scroll in Flutter. With this lazy loading technique, your app performance will be running more efficiently regardless of the item count. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.